What is going on everyone? Another guy today. Are you sick of playing characters that have no mobility whatsoever? You just got Rex and think, fuck me, plants and robot babies can't move for shit. Wanna reach that new aura? Or like, you know, traverse scorched acres without 93 hopu feathers? Well, I've got that item for you. In this little guide, I'm gonna quickly run through how to get the blackout achievement, which unlocks the eccentric vase. And it's pretty good equipment, especially for those characters that lack any mobility and you're always trying to rush in to like build them to be a bit quicker or if you know there's a new water far out of the way and you're like well never gonna be able to reach that now you can this equipment is actually pretty good now to get this item you are going to be required to go to the gilded coast and fight aurelianite i believe the boss's name is and all you have to do if you haven't gone to the through the gold portal before i'll leave a link in the description because I've got a whole video on it. But all you do, save it your money, find a lot of gold, pay it, defeat the boss, go through the gold portal as per usual, and then there's a boss. Now when you get to the Gilded Coast, you're going to see these Halicon Beacons... Uh, Boo! Still can't speak! Halicon Beacons all around the map. There's seven in total, and you have to activate four of them, I believe, for the boss to spawn. However, this achievement requires you to kill him without any of them deactivating. So your best bet is to just kill loads of monsters, a lot of bosses will spawn, you know, Elder Lemurians, kill all them, get a lot of gold, work out how much it's going to cost you to get seven of these beacons activated at once, run around, activate them all, and kill the boss as quickly as possible so no beacons deactivate. And it really is as simple as that, that's literally all there is to it, find a route of gold, go through the gold portal, activate all the beacons as quickly as possible, so save up your money, and kill the boss, and then you'll get the achievement. You'll probably... Who the fuck is just knocking shit outside? Can you stop that, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Building that log cabin or something? Dick it. You're probably wondering what makes this item so good for low mobility uh, characters, and that is, it basically, as you see in the background, I'm just going to read the description, it creates a quantum tunnel of up to a thousand meters in length, which is very long range. Like, I didn't realize how long range it was, but if you look at the clips, you can see that it travels a very far distance, far enough for me to get to the newt water with like like very easily like i didn't have any troubles whatsoever just jump into the thing beam through and you're there you're at your location piece of piss this just means that characters that are very slow especially rex with the introduction of rex who is super slow and an engineer an artificer if you have all them in a team it's just a pain in the dick because you all are sharing mobility items you're not all going to be that fast you're never going to have one person that can really reach them high areas especially like certain new ones that are incredibly difficult to get, and only characters like the Mercenary can get them without any items at all. So, it just makes it a lot easier for you, and I imagine your team. I haven't tested this yet, but since it just puts up two orbs that you can use, and you can just go up to it and use it, I believe that your teammates will also be able to use um, the eccentric vase, or the tunnel that you create, to get to these places as well. I did also try for a long time because I had quite a lot of fuel cells I could just keep putting these portals up and I had some soulbound catalyst I just kept putting the portals up and I did try seeing if you could be damaged whilst you were en route to the next location but things don't really target you unless you're at the start or the end so I'm guessing it doesn't like you can't get hit if you're in the tunnel itself however I did find that if you got hit before going in with any sort of like proc damage that would damage you over time the damage still went through as you were traveling down the tunnel and if you make one tunnel the other tunnel does not disappear so you can have multiple tunnels up at once so you can have a really long stretch to make your team get through the map extremely quickly also as you can see i really failed using it to start with because i didn't really know what i did but you basically all you do is you aim where you want to go and then press your equipment use item and it will spawn an orb where you are and spawn an orb to where you're trying to go so yeah, this was just a quick little run through of the eccentric vase and what it does. I wanted to get this the second I saw that the blackout achievement was there because I wanted to know like what this new item was going to be. Well, piece of equipment and I wanted to try it out. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty good. I will try and pick it up when I'm playing like Artificer and maybe Rex and stuff like that. Playing it with my mates. Whilst I was in the Gilded Coast as well, I got the new drop, the Halicon Seed, which is the new boss item um, from Aurelianite. So expect the guide on that soon and what it does, it's actually pretty fucking awesome. Well, it's awesome. It's got a really cool concept, but the item itself is pretty trash. And you'll see why when I do my next video. But yeah, for now, as always, 
Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, subscribe, comment, anything you want to know about the item or anything to make this achievement any easier, let me know. I'll try and fill you in. Uh, but yeah, as always, good health.